Today we're going to be playing Can You Survive All Out. You know actually absolutely nothing about this show this time. I know an image that's associated with the game. The blonde guy in a weird space suit, thumbs yeah, up, yeah. and that picture is all I know. That's perfect. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. It is the year 2296. Ever since the great nuclear war of 2077, most of humanity has been wiped out. You are a lucky resident of this vault called Vault 33. Okay, so it's like an underground city society. Where There's a very tight number of people. But you grew up your entire life. You have a brother named Daniel. Why do I always have a brother named Daniel? Why can't I have a different named brother or sister? I don't know. How come I can't have a sister named Danielle? I just want to be involved, <laughs> okay? Now, this vault has everything. It has a school for children to learn and be educated on what the world is and what we're dedicated for. What are we dedicated for? We're dedicated to make sure that civilization continues. And once the radiation goes down enough, in the wasteland above, we will then enter and create a society and restart civilization. Your main source of food is corn. You actually make corn here in the underground surface. Corn is ideal when we have like a little amount of water and a, and a massive sunlight. And also, they have a projector displaying mountains and skies and fields of corn, but it's just... Just pictures. It's just pictures. It's just a constant right. display. Right. Nobody, nobody in the current generation actually saw the surface work. Yeah, this is how they get to kind of keep their mental health in check. Now, Elias, you volunteered to get married. <laughs> well, the main character did, so I'm just going to say you did too. You volunteered to get married to the bunker next door from Vault 32. Okay, so we're closely connected or there's like a tunnel way that connects all the bunkers? There's a single tunnel that connects Vault 32 and 33 and 31. So these three vaults are connected in a kind of like a triangle. Oh, it's a triangle. So it's not like a series of different bunkers all connected. No, oh. no. Okay. It's just those three. Now, once in a while, people from different vaults will come in to Vault 33, which is where we're at, and we will switch partners, procreate, <laughs> make sure, you know, no cousin-to-cousin no -cousin stuff is happening too much. Okay. Because, you know, it's been so many years, and it's the same group of people in your vault. We have two tiny vagine pools. Exactly. Yeah, and that's happening tomorrow. Yeah. How are you feeling? Said Daniel. I've never met this girl. We never even talked. This is for the sake of continuing our genetic heritage, so... It is kind of weird to marry someone you've never seen before. I mean, when's the last time we had somebody from Vault 32? It's been forever. Has it, has it been? In a couple of years. So in a couple of years, they probably went through different changes. Hopefully they didn't have any like problem with their uh, life support system. Their water or food it ran out and they now need to invade other vaults. I hope that's not the case. And I really hope this girl is not a spy. There's an announcement made from the overseer, who's our dad. Now, the overseer is kind of the mayor or manager or whatever. Okay. He says, all right, everyone, let's get together to greet the members from Vault 32 to our village so that we can celebrate and start the ceremony and let the festivities begin. So we still do festivals. We have enough resource to do festivals. We have been lucky enough to have enough crops and have excess amount of food. Actually, that's what we're trading this time. Vault 32 unfortunately had some accidents with their crops, so they oh, have crap. less food than we do. So we're inviting them over. We're going to give them some of our crops so they can seed and start over, but in exchange, they're giving us one of their members. Okay, so we're trading human with food and we don't know how devastated they are. Oh no, we can communicate with them through like a computer that only the overseers can communicate with and they seem fine, ish. <laughs> enough so no physical evidence just a private digital communication which can be faked and altered and corrupted in so many different stages okay what could possibly go wrong just just to let you know every individual that lives in the vaults have a vault tech technology which is called a pip boy which goes on your arm like this and it can do a lot of things it can help you communicate with people it can detect radiation you can play video games on it all sorts of things you can track people on it basically a big apple watch yeah now you all get together and the Vault 32 stands before you. Now this vault hasn't opened for a while, so I'm kind of excited. I wonder, I haven't seen new people in such a long time, Elliot. So this is like really exciting. I'm kind of scared because you said we haven't been opening this vault gate for a while now, right? Yeah. If the reason the Vault 32 is having food shortage problem is because they have some radiation leak in their vault, this gate is the only thing that's keeping us safe from the same devastation. We don't have a choice. We need genetic diversity. We have to open it. Now at a certain point, I'm going to 
let you start picking which path you can go because this show actually has multiple storylines happening at the same time. All right. Okay. That's Don't look at the plot. We have the plot on the TV screen. It's, it's a bit difficult. <laughs> on a couch. We have a new setup, actually. This is really nice. So if it sounds different, if it echoes different, that's because we have a, a new setup. Couch and a TV. We're, we're actually kind of professionals now. <laughs> Surprisingly, still no desk. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> Our overseer commands the... Um, oh, what, what are they called? There's a there's a person who can open doors. Gatekeeper? Well, actually, yeah, I think they were called gatekeepers. How did you know? <laughs> it's a common terminology, man. The gatekeeper has a key connected to their pit boy and that's the only thing that can open the vaults to the outside world and in between the vaults. Okay, question. Yeah. Can we remove our pit boys? Yeah. Okay, so we can just take him off. It's not like embedded in your, in okay, your body okay, or okay. anything. Nothing too dystopian. We're uh, stuck in a vault with a radiation-ridden planet. It's, yeah. it's pretty dystopian already. <laughs> now, the gatekeeper actually has a huge crush on you. And so she doesn't want to open the gate. So she's like, oh, I think it's broken. Gatekeeper? We're second cousins. <laughs> <laughs> they are second cousins. They, they, this ain't gonna work out, man. Okay, people are gonna not. They were second cousins. Really? So I just, I'm just throwing. <laughs> just throwing, just throwing I know, it out. I know. People are gonna freak out again. Oh, Elias must know the. No, he doesn't. He hasn't watched. You should watch the show right after this, though. It's it's amazing. Okay. So she's like, okay, fine, and she opens the gate now. People that's wearing the same overalls as you do, but the only difference is on their back, it says 32 on them. They look a little dirty and they're not happy like us. I mean, we're just assuming that they've been just through the rough patches because of their crop. So we welcome them in with big smiles. You see the person that you're supposed to marry and they're just no smile, no nothing. I get it. The overseer says, welcome, please join us for our festivities. And so we go to the corn crop area and start celebrating, eating food. Psst, Dad, they, be, they, they had the worst crop ever and they've been starving for a while. Do you think throwing festive food and wasting our food supply is going to be a good gesture? Don't worry, son. Even though we're at different vaults, we all have the same goal. To create civilization eventually in the surface world and help each other out when it's possible. This is the whole point of having three different vaults connected to each other. Have you ever heard of the phrase, immediate survival always supersedes future survival? Do you think if they're desperate, they're going to care about rebuilding the civilization and whatnot? Yeah, you're just having wedding jitters. Don't worry about it. And, and so the wedding happens. Wedding jitters. Me. <laughs> you finally have a chance to talk to the woman you're marrying. But she doesn't behave like a civilized person. She like eats food with her hand and... She just wipes her hand and things that she shouldn't wipe on, like curtains. Oh, is she an outsider? How would you check that? I already told you all the information you need to figure this out. There's only a limited number of jumpsuits and she's not wearing it. No, she's wearing the jumpsuits. If she doesn't originally belong in the Vault 32, then her genetic template must be different. What did I miss? Oh, wait. Does she have the watch thingy? She actually doesn't have a Pip-Boy, but some people don't always wear it. But you have your Pip-Boy, and what can you do with your Pip-Boy? I check the radiation. Ah, you got it! Nice, finally. So she's right. Okay, so, so you, brought a, you kind of. I feel like I'm about to turn green and gigantic raging monster. No, <laughs> you, just, you just feel <laughs> off about how they are as a person. So this doesn't feel right. Observing her behavioral pattern suggests that she doesn't originally belong in the Vault 32. So I use my Pip Boy to check her readings, yeah. and the radiation is off the hook. Beep 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 beep. Your Pip Boy starts making a lot of high radiation noises, whatever sound effect we decide to use okay <laughs> you look at her and she grabs a fork and tries to stab you so you fight back and because you're such a civilized person you don't really know how to fight too much but okay, okay wait wait you have weapons we've been, we've been trying to rebuild civilization and martial arts was not part of the education program actually yeah you have to actually stay pretty physically fit yeah uh, unfortunately the protagonists did gymnastics for their physically uh. fit activity <laughs> wait no gymnasts are incredibly good fighters but you have stun guns so you manage to just overpower her. As soon as you do, you hear an alarm bell go beep, off. Beep, beep, beep. And Daniel rushes into your door and say, are you okay? D did you see what's going on? The Vault 32ers are, are, are attacking us. And, and Daniel's a coward, by the way. So he's like, I'm going to hide. You go help them. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. And you walk outside and the Vault 32ers were all actually from the surface. 
they're, and they're all from surface. Yeah. So original Vault 32 people are not all dead. They're all surface people who invaded. Find out. You're gonna have to explore Vault 32. That's one of your options. Damn it. <laughs> the Vault 33 people fight back, but they lose. I told you we should make guns. That's what being civilized is about. Having bigger guns. The surface people gather all of Vault 33 members and their leader. Uh, what was her name? Let's gotta look it up. I swear I wrote it down somewhere. Whatever. Uh, Lee something is talking to our dad, the overseer. Our dad says, wait, I think I know who you are. The leader says, yeah, everyone knows who I am. They're referencing things that we really don't know or recognize. The leader says, oh, you. I know who you are as well. He looked really familiar. He's referring to our dad, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. She's referring to our dad. She. Oh. Yeah. So then Lee actually captures our dad and takes him with her to the surface and they leave the majority of us alone they kill some of us but the majority of us are safe the door that leads to vault 32 mm -hmm. closes once again now we are in shock and dismay we don't know what's going on we gather the corpses burn them clean up what we can we're distraught now what do you do so one. They, okay, okay okay you're gonna give me options okay <laughs> here it comes okay number one you stay in vault 32 forget everything happened try to go back to normal two you go to the surface and try to find your dad or three you try to explore what's going on in vault 32 and 31 shit vault 32 Something already happened in Vault 31. We are the last one to go. They started from Vault 31. I'm so sorry. They started from Vault 31. And they then, and then they progressed Vault 32. Oh, what's that? What did I say? Oh, what? what are you talking about? Okay. Because I know the outside is still poisoned with radiation. So going out there is probably a death sentence. I'm sorry, Dad. You're a lost cause. <laughs> I don't know how they are surviving, but unless they have a suit made of lead or an alien technology that can block out radiation. Yeah, you're right. And he's kind of sus anyway. Like he knew things he didn't tell us about having conversations with their leader. Like but the fact that he knows so much, but still could not develop enough skepticism to properly suspect these weird <laughs> details that has already been laid out. <laughs> yeah, suggesting true. he's going to say something stupid and get himself killed. Honestly, facts. No paper. So which one? Are you going to just stay in the vault? Three, I'm going to go to the vault. 32. Well, the thing is, you can't open the doors to Vault 32. And Daniel is like, bro, this is such a bad idea. But we sh you should totally do it. I'll follow you, but you got to go forward. <laughs> but we can't go because the doors are locked. Second cousin, <laughs> I need your keys. She comes along. She's like, for what? To get to the Vault 32. That's where all the answers are. No, 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 no. No. Your vocabulary troubles me. It's such a bad idea. There's What if there's still people remaining in there? Right now at this place. There's nothing we can actually do in Vault 33. Well, there is one thing we can do. And she like looks you up and down. Okay, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay, hold on. No. <laughs> we gotta keep it PG. She's like, okay, because I like you so much, I'll open the vault door. But once I do, I'll probably lose my privileges. What privileges? Having the job as a gatekeeper. I mean, there's no overseer or, or any authority figure. Well, there is a council, which is like three people who are, who helped the overseer who survived. Oh, there are three people that I can get the information from. She opens the door to vault 32 Elias this is not a good idea you guys enter what once used to be a beautiful vault just like ours full of crops but right now it's desolate first thing I do is I used my pit boy to check the radiation level it's not too bad I go in I check the food storage see if there's any food that I can bring back now the lights are all flickering this vault does not seem very maintained not for a very long time for a few years at least you see bodies that have died and you see moments of conflict that seems like it what didn't happen between the vault dwellers and the surface dwellers but an infighting between the vault dwellers we haven't been in contact as much for the last four years you said several years I several can't years exactly okay years it looks like some people have committed suicide but it's not like the food storage was empty there's plenty of food it's rotten now but there was a supply of food but they didn't eat it they killed themselves they killed themselves and they fought each other these people have written on the wall saying we know the truth or let us out and etc are they experiments what else do you check whatever computer that the overseers were using to communicate you go to the computer and it's Lock. Wait, wait. Is the room locked or is the computer the password computer locked? Computer password locked. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, Thankfully, your little brother Daniel is a great hacker for whatever reason. He okay. just is. <laughs> this was random in the plot. All right. He hacks it in for you and tries to find some of the conversation that's happened mm -hmm. before, and it's mostly just information about past overseers. All right. Well, uh, who were they? All the past overseers seem to have originated from Vault Thirty One. 
Even our dad actually came from Vault 31 too, and he got married to our mom who's now gone. So I am more and more convinced that Vault 31 holds the key to different place that's none of the that's supposedly cool triangular yeah, okay. vaults. I mean, why would they name it 31? What happened to 1 to 30? Interesting. You said we have gates to Vault 32, right? Yeah. Is there a different gate that leads directly to Vault 31? There is. And you look for a gate that leads to Vault 31 in Vault 32, and you walk and you see all these people dead in the ground. They have welding torches. They have axes and hammers. They try to break the door for so long, and there's blood on the wall with the writing that says, we know what's behind this door. Just a pile of corpses trying to get into Vault 31. That's failed to do so. Daniel's like, this is weird. We gotta leave. This doesn't seem right. I don't think we should be seeing this. Okay, I actually agree. Right now, the picture that I'm having, Vault 31, that supposedly is connected to both vaults, either leads to a different location. Let's just name Vault 31 for, for our benefit, for our illusion or delusion. So you, you're saying it leads somewhere. Yeah, yeah. It's not just So we need to get into, vault. yeah. So Vault 31 is our objective at the moment. Okay. Uh, if they try a welding torch, they try, so it's still locked. Yeah, it's still locked. You can't open it. Now, what do you do? Do you tell people in Vault 33 what you saw yes normally i wouldn't share so much information with people who are so evidently stupid but those three like vice managers council councils that's supposed to have some information yeah. or possibly the hidden gatekeepers that we don't know about they will show a reaction if we give this information actually i make you daniel announce this information <laughs> and, and observe the other people no i don't want to do that no i don't want to get in trouble we're not even supposed to be in here uh okay i put up my stun gun <laughs> I'm kidding. You know what? Okay, I will make the announcement. You guys observe and see if anyone's reacting weird. Okay, let me just clarify. We went to Vault 32. One thing we can tell is that Vault 32 people have been dead for a long while. They were trying to get into Vault 31, but they weren't able to go in. And on the wall, with their blood, they wrote, they know the truth and let us out. <gasps> The vault dwellers all cast. One of the older ladies in the council stands up and says, Okay, this is all very interesting news. We'll investigate this as a group tomorrow. So why don't we all just get a good night rest and go in there and explore it together? Sure, why not? I tell my second cousin to lock the door and stand guard. Because what they basically were trying to do is buy time till tomorrow. Mm -hmm. They were trying to do something in the time box. Now you, you do that. And the next morning, everybody gets together to enter Vault 32. Okay. Now one of the council member says yeah some of the people in vault 31 came in and helped us clean up and now it's good as new there wasn't anything really too suspicious otherwise the people in vault 31 would have let us know um so let's go check it out and you go in and it's it's so clean it's like a brand new place no blood no writings on the wall no bodies brand new vault okay so now now the recording is getting long so we gotta end it soon here what do you think is in vault 31 what do you think is outside in the surface what do you think happened to your dad you can find out by watching the show. So I don't get to actually solve anything? So, okay, spoilers. Spoilers from here on out. Okay. It would have taken you way longer to be able to end up in Vault 31. What ends up happening with well, the protagonist is outside trying to save the dad. No, you didn't do that. <laughs> whatever. So the little brother actually tries to investigate what's going on. Okay. When the council isn't looking, he goes into the overseer computer and then has a chat with overseer in 31 and says, help, I have been caught or my identity has been revealed. Okay. And so the overseer in Vault 31 says, okay, leave immediately. Come to Vault 31 door and I will open it for you. And so Daniel or the little brother goes to Vault 31 and he enters and he finds just this robot with the brain saying, you're not the overseer. You're not part of the council. You shouldn't be here. And, and keeps on telling him to go away. Okay. But the little brother ignores it. So it's a brain in the jar. Yeah. So he enters deeper into Vault 31 and he turns the light on and it's just an endless pile of people in cryostasis. And it's just a bunch of frozen employees from the vault Tech management who they just release one at a time into the other vaults. Now what happened is this is where you need to know a lot more about the plot. This vault is one of many experiments. I knew it was an experiment. But there there was actually a fallout, apocalypse. Okay. But this company called vault decided, yeah, we're going to start new civilizations in different vaults, but we're going to see which vault ends up producing the best people. Now, okay. our vault was somewhat okay. Other vaults had different rules. Some vaults said every year you have to kill one person. They wanted to see how the civilization would, would adapt and react. Okay, and that 
that vault, what's really sad about it is at the end, if you don't kill someone, all the vault does is like, oh, congratulations. You finally, you know, broke free from, broke free from the cycle and no one dies. And they realize that they've been killing for no reason. Yeah. Um, there's other vaults where they're all children and the overseers has to kill anyone that, that doesn't have all the physical and mental abilities. So they went Sparta. Yeah. And so they just keep killing off children to see if that produces the best batch of people and there's another one where there's like one guy and like 999 women <laughs> and there's another one where there's one woman and 999 guys uh. it's, it's like it's like a whole thing so like every vault has a different experiment and it's really cool to listen to like what they're actually all about then the woman from outside who that's invaded. a whole different story a whole different plot we don't have time to get into it's a massive world it's, there's a, it's lot a of massive world there's three stories happening at the same time uh -huh. eventually they all intertwine into this one big plot Oh, it's really good. It's a really good show. Well, I'm really interested in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you even think to do this in one video? <laughs> well, that, I, that's why I was just going to cover episode one, really. But then we kind of got ahead of ourselves. There's so many questions. It's impossible to answer all of them. Yeah. In one like, I, I can't even really phrase those questions. So the answer is go watch the show. It'll all make sense. We just went through one part of one section. But of I episode managed one. to predict all the way to episode three. I called it a win. With my help. Help. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.